Welcome to the last part of quadratic functions where we have the applications of quadratic uh, equation in coordinate geometry. So basically you should have a straight line and a curve. The first conditions here where you have a straight line which intersect the curve at two different points. Two different points. That is two intersection points. For this one, you are going to use this condition b squared minus 4ac bigger than 0. For the second one, the line will only meet the curve at one point. One point only. Therefore, this straight line is called tangent. So when they say the line is a tangent to the curve, basically it means that the line will only intersect the curve at one point. So for the second one, b squared minus 4ac equal to 0. So the last one is the line and the curve do not meet at all. There's no intersection points. Then this one you have to use what? B square minus 4ac less than 0. Okay, let's start with the first example here. Example 16. Find the range of value of m. Okay, when you see the words range of value for m, you should expect your answer should be something like this. In terms of inequality, like m less than 4, m more than 2 less than 4 okay something like this you cannot put your answer m equal to 4 okay they say range of value of 4 you should expect answer in inequality so now this straight line y equal to mx minus 3 intersect the curve y equal to x squared plus 1 at two different points so if i give you a sketch this will be something like this straight line intersect the curve at two different points so you know that this will be what b square minus 4ac more than zero okay so how to do it first you have to list down the straight line y equal to mx minus 3 this is first equation and the curve y equal to x square plus 1 second equation next you have to eliminate your y so you substitute y as mx minus 3 into the equation 2. You have something like this. Okay, so until here, what's the next step? You have to arrange it until you got a general form of quadratic equation. Okay, if you forget about the general form of quadratic equation, there should be something like this. ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. So that you can extract the value of a, b, and c. Okay, for this one, we have x squared here. This one bring over, I have minus mx plus 1 plus 3. You become plus 4 equal to 0. Now you have a general form of a quadratic equation. So here, that is an invisible 1. So a equal to 1. The coefficient x, b equal to negative m. And the constant, c equal to 4. So now you have your a, b, and c. You substitute into b squared minus 4ac more than 0. So you have negative m squared minus 4ac more than 0. To substitute the value a, b, c. So you have m squared minus 16 more than 0. m squared more than 16. Look at it carefully here. This is an inequality sign. If you have m squared equal to 16, this is an equation, m will be positive negative square root 16. So your answer should be m good to positive negative 4. But this is different. This is an inequality m square more than 16. How to do this? So first, you have m more than positive square root 16 or m less than negative square root 16. You can see here when a negative square root, I actually changed the inequality sign from more than to less than therefore your final answer should be m more than 4 or m less than negative 4. okay let's look at the next example example 16 find the range of value for m for which the straight line y equal mx plus 11 intersect the curve at two different points so this is the same as example 16 that is intersection for two different points. Again, b squared minus 4ac more than 0. You must get this correct, okay? The conditions, you must get this correct first. So now you have to what? Form a quadratic equation in general form. Basically, you have to eliminate your y. So this is a straight line. This is the curve. 
The first step is to eliminate y. So I substitute y as mx plus 11 here. So you can see now I have a quadratic equation in x. Now I have to arrange it into the general form. So I have 2x squared minus x. This one bring over. You have minus mx plus 13 minus 11. You have 2 equal to 0. Now you have 2x squared plus group all your x terms together. Minus 1 minus m x plus 2 equal to 0 a equal to 2 b that is coefficient x is negative 1 minus m and c equal to 2 so now you have your a b c you can substitute into the expression b square minus 4 a c more than 0 so you have negative 1 minus m square minus 4 a, C, more than 0. Okay, this expansion here, just very fast. If you cannot do the fast expansion, you can actually do something like this. Negative 1 minus M times negative 1 minus M. Then you expand 1 by 1. You have to expand 4 times, right? That is what you have learned. Or, I want to show you if I factorize my negative, I will have positive 1 plus M inside. So negative here means negative 1. Okay, negative 1 squared, you will have positive 1. So this is the same as 1 plus m squared. Meaning when you have negative 1 minus m squared, you know this one is the same as 1 plus m squared. This will be easier for you to do the expansion, right? Minus 16 more than 0. So you have 1 plus 2m plus m squared minus 16 more than 0. So m squared plus 2m minus 15, more than 0. When you see something like this, you know that this is a quadratic inequality. Factorize first. m times m, you have m squared. Here you have 5 times 3, 15. Positive 5m minus 3m. You have positive 2m here. So how to do it? If you still can remember the last lesson, we have what? m minus 3 equal to 0. m equal to 3. And m plus 5 equal to 0, m equal to negative 5. But this is not the final answer. This is just for me to sketch the curve to find the answer. So the intersection point is negative 5 and 3. And I have something more than 0. I will go to shake the upper part of the region. So final answer for this will be m less than negative 5 or m more than 3 okay when you have answer like this this is called the range of values of m